Frank and Angie traveling to Panama and through Panama, tropical, hot Panama. Yes, it is hot in Panama and it's humid. But some people like that, like Angie. <laughs> Frank, I have a new question for you. Can you believe it? What are the people of Panama like? Are they helpful to you? Do you feel like there is resentment of the foreigners in Panama by the Panamanians? Well, you know, the Lat Latins and South Americans in general are very happy people. You know, they're very friendly and outgoing. I like that because I can generally engage in nice conversations with taxi drivers and stuff. I'm somewhat gregarious myself as long as I got a good night's sleep. <laughs> You know, and it's as long as I'm not hot and sweaty, but <laughs> which is coming soon. <laughs> um, Frank, it's 7:30 in the morning. It's still early, yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, the, the, the South Americans are very gregarious, but you know, there, there's definitely uh, resentment. Panama is a more mature country in the sense that uh, the uh, foreigner community is more mature. There's way more foreigners here. There's like I read like 80,000, I don't know how accurate that is. You know, I've, I've had conversations with South Americans that speak English people. I've talked to tourist board people and stuff. They tried to explain to me in so many words that in South America, in, in North America, South America, big difference, so many things. But one of them is North America people show off their wealth, their opulence. South America people keep a low profile. Well, we, we go into more detail in our guides. We explain how to do that, what to do and all that. So there's this mentality to come here and just go all out. And in order to make pe people feel better, they put, they sprinkle, uh, there's this sprinkling of these thoughts. It's almost like mind control. It's like, uh, it's like telling people when well, there's a rising middle class, you know, well, that may be, but it's very small, <laughs> you know. So there's a lot of poor folks, uh, you know, living on $500 a month in these countries. I'm just telling you that for other people that come to these countries, when especially a mature country like, like Panama, where there's lots of foreigners, yes, there's resentment. You can see it in the crimes, uh, home invasions where they're just stealing refrigerators, people's sneakers. I mean, you know, that... You can sit here and debate, well, that's not resentment, they just need a fridge. You can say whatever you want. So, what I think that there's some resentment, yeah, are, and, and it translates into crime, I do. Are expats safe in a gated community? I believe there is crime here, home invasions. So in, the security gate is just almost like a front? Well, you need to understand that the security can improve, so there's no sense in, in bashing it. I mean, I don't want to sound like I'm bashing it, I'm just saying that people may get a sense of, but remember, you know, there's only one development here. There's not that much development. Development. But there's many there's houses in there. That many, there's not that much real estate. This, the supply does not match up to the demand. There's sure. a revolving door <clears throat> of foreigners through the retirement press pushing people in these areas, but the available real estate is small, and that may be intentional. Uh, you know, because it causes pr prices to skyrocket, and that's the whole intention of, of, of these kinds of promotions. But that's not what we're about. We're about telling people our real experience of traveling, and all this other stuff is just window dressing. We don't care that much about it, except for how it affects us. Uh, when prices double, triple, quadruple in, in just a handful of years, and it's no longer affordable, uh, it makes no sense to go to places that are heavily promoted from a financial standpoint unless you're multi-million. So, anyhow, I don't want to break anybody's, uh, burst anybody's bubble. Uh, you can come here for a visit. It is possible. You can take a bus here. Uh, actually, you have to take two buses, so you, it's better if you speak a little Spanish. If you don't speak any Spanish, don't attempt it. You have to transfer off uh, a bus to another, and you're not going to a transfer station. You're on the middle of the road somewhere. It'd be very uncomfortable if you don't speak any Spanish.